All right, now to another Trump controversy of his own making, the president trying to distance himself from his own administration's migrant policy and blaming Democrats for separating families at the border. In fact, yesterday he tweeted out, put pressure on the Democrats to end the horrible law that separates children from their parents once they cross the border into the United States. We shouldn't have to point this out, but... Uh, it isn't a democratic law, but the president's own policy that's separating families. And this isn't the first time the president's played the blame game. This weekend, he fired off a series of tweets blaming the Russia investigation on Hillary Clinton and 13 angry Democrats, despite the fact that special prosecutor Robert Mueller is a Republican who was appointed by Trump's own deputy attorney general, Rod Rosenstein. Now, in the past, he's blamed Democrats for the government shutdown, for not fixing DACA, and for the lack of of tough gun control regulations. In February, he tweeted out, just like they don't want to solve the DACA problem, why didn't the Democrats pass gun control legislation when they had both the House and Senate during the Obama administration? For more on all this, I want to bring in Asawan Subisang, White House reporter for The Daily Beast, and Nayara Haq is back with us as well. Great to have you both with us. Uh, Asawan, let me begin with you. Uh, here's Attorney Jeff General Jeff Sessions earlier this month discussing the administration's uh, migrant policy. If you smuggle illegal aliens across our border, then we will prosecute you. If you are smuggling a child, then we will prosecute you. And that child may be separated from you as required by law. Uh, Asan, why is the president trying to uh, pin the blame on Democrats uh, now after his own attorney general mm -hmm. made the announcement about the law, which a lot of legal experts and lawyers have said is actually not correct. Well, a lot of it is the president playing a knee-jerk PR move here. He knows that the, um, uh, the sentiment and the policy that his administration is going with is at least in soundbite form unpopular. And he's trying to put some distance himself uh, between that and, um, and himself by playing one of his favorite games, which is blaming the Democrats and blaming his predecessor, Obama. And one of the more darkly funny things about this is that um, this is something that senior officials in the Trump administration, including Attorney General Jeff Sessions and privately uh, the President of the United States himself, have sort of done a victory lap over this, uh, stating that this is something that they are doing at, in the Trump era that is a deterrent for people uh, who are trying to illegally cross the border. Uh, so it's yeah, I mean, a little it bit seems funny. Like that, it's, you know. Yeah, I was going to say, Aswan, it seems like they're doing it both ways. On one hand, they're saying, like, hey, we've taken this, adopted this new policy mm -hmm. that is going to be tough on anyone bringing uh, illegal mm -hmm. uh, you know, immigrants into the country, as they would say. But at the same time, when they're being criticized for how inhumane it is and the fact that they're separating families, they're saying, don't blame us, blame the Democrats, we're just enforcing the law. Right. The president wants to come off as, quote, unquote, tough, but he also doesn't want to come off as, quote, unquote, too mean, yeah. whatever that means. Um, and there, this seems to be a case as well, the president not wanting to take responsibility, as we were just saying there, mm -hmm. for the results of his own policies. But do you think that the public, uh, or at least his base, they're not going to be as plugged in into the facts on immigration as they probably should be, and so they could possibly be fooled into actually believing that Democrats are the cause for what is happening now in what is being described as inhumane. Absolutely, and that's the problem if you rely only on Donald Trump to get your facts about what's going on in America or policy. Um, you get a very twisted worldview. Let's not forget that his White House chief of staff, John Kelly, said, oh, well, these kids will be put into foster care or whatever. Uh, and so there is not, has not been a very clear plan of what happens to these children. And the perfect storm of stories came together when it was re revealed once again that the federal government has lost 1,500 children who are already in their custody. These are the yeah. unaccompanied children who had come here. Uh, and it was reported directly to Congress and by the Health and Human Services that from a period of October 2017 to December 2017, which is squarely the period of this Trump administration, uh, that no, the, they had no idea where these children were because they, they had no mechanism for following up to make sure that the sponsor parents actually brought these children to court for their appointed dates and hearings. So uh, on top of knowing that 1,500 children are missing, and there's been quite a bit of outrage in media and among Twitter and just the general public about that, uh, you now have Trump realizing that he's put himself far, really out front for this new policy of separate 
separating additional parents and minors. So he's trying to balance uh, the fact that his government is not functioning as it should and people mm. are disappointed. Uh, also, and I know that President Trump accused the New York Times of making up a source uh, in an article about North Korea uh, in the summit that's scheduled to take place there. He tweeted out saying, use real people, not phony sources. Um, and, and the New York Times answered back saying their source, in fact, uh, was a senior White House official speaking to a large group of reporters in the White House briefing room, uh, although it was on background. Uh, we're seeing the president is really not on the same page as others within his own administration. When you look at examples like this, is there a disconnect here when he comes out and attacks the media mm -hmm. for quote unquote using unnamed sources or lying, but in reality is completely unaware that it was based on a briefing given by a senior member of his administration? Well, if President Trump is uh, bashing the news media on Twitter or in public statements, that just means it's a day that ends in the letter Y. <laughs> but when it comes to uh, this particular incident, it's either the president was just straight up lying and trolling the media on Twitter, as is his want, or he was woefully ignorant to what his own White House um, uh, operation was undertaking, which was officially sanctioning a senior administration official to go out there and brief the press and answer questions on an anonymous basis, which yeah, is a which very is a, regular thing. Yeah, I was going to say it's a very common practice to get those uh, on background briefings from all agencies in the government. Uh, Nayara Haq, thank you very much. Also, I'm going to ask you to stick around for us uh, for another conversation coming up. Still ahead.